today I'm going to talk about this lens cradle that I made for my backpack. This holds my lenses kind of securely so they don't rattle around and bang against each other. And it can fit all of my camera gear in the, the sunglass pouch of my backpack. This is the Osprey Talon 22. It's a 22 liter day bag. And it has an unusually large sunglass pouch, which is why I bought it. Here I have my fisheye, my 18 to 150, and 11 to 22 ultra wide. Alternatively, you can also fit the 22 millimeter macro, the 55 200 telephoto, and the kit lens. I often spend all day with the camera in my hand, and I just use this lens case for holding the lenses. This makes it even easier to get them out of the bag. This lens cradle is just made with ABS plastic, mainly one sheet of plastic, it's eighth inch thick, and I just fold it in the corners. I used a heat gun to kind of melt it and bend, bend it into the shape I needed. And I Swiss cheesed it to save weight, and it also helps with any dust or dirt. It'll kind of fall through instead of being trapped at the bottom of my lens case. I used Velcro as padding. Um, I also tried neoprene and tried covering it with this kind of peel and stick felt, but I found the Velcro had much more aggressive adhesive and I could peel it off if it didn't get it in the right spot. I did use some of the peel and stick felt for the bottom corners so that I didn't have any sharp edges on the bag. Um, I left a little spot here for my contact info. I have it blacked out for the video, but as soon as someone opens the bag, there's a big yellow tag with my name and contact info on it. The whole thing weighs about, I don't know, less than a quarter pound. It's fairly lightweight. I used machine screws to attach the dividers. And all the EOS M lenses are pretty much the same thickness. And I really like how accessible my camera is. I can just unzip the top pouch, pull out my camera, and I don't have to worry about things kind of rattling around. I don't have a bag that looks like a photo bag. Uh, so if I'm walking around the subway or sketchy neighborhoods, it just looks like a regular backpack, not something that's carrying a lot of camera gear. And I like that this bag has a lot of space. So the camera portion is just the top third. So I have the bottom for holding jackets, rain ponchos, water bottles. It's nice to have a camera bag that's not 100% photocentric. This big mesh pocket is perfect for holding a wet poncho. So many of the camera bags on the market today are waterproof, but they don't have anywhere to store your poncho, and you don't want to put a wet poncho in a waterproof backpack. It's a bit of a snug fit getting it in for the first time. But once it's in, I can even fit my RX100 in the top. Along with the viewfinder for my mirrorless camera. Nobody would know that you're carrying two camera bodies and three lenses in such a small bag. It's nice that on an airplane, if you're checking in, you can really scrunch this thing down into something small, which you can't do with those photo bags with all the dividers. So many of the camera bags on the market have such a huge opening to get your, your camera out. This one's nice and discreet. It's just a sunglass pouch opening. When I'm on the subway, I like using these little lockable carabiners. They're obviously not going to be 100% secure, but they're fiddly enough that someone's not just going to casually unzip your bag. They use a little cam buckle to prevent them from opening. This backpack's unusually tall as well. It includes a hip strap, and the shoulder harness is adjustable. The whole thing 
is held on with Velcro so you can raise or lower it compared to where the bag is. It's got a hydration pouch. It's also got really good ventilation. This is much more comfortable to wear, I think, on a hike compared to a photo backpack. I can also fit my 13 inch MacBook Pro in a laptop pouch. Oftentimes when I'm hiking, I'll have a selfie stick on my camera and just clips on the shoulder strap like this so I can hike kind of hands free. I've made other camera shells as well out of fiberglass. Um, I can post a link to pictures of those as well. But I thought it would be kind of worthwhile for anyone out there that's interested in a camera bag to kind of take this approach instead of buying a photo camera bag. If you have any questions, feel free to leave comments in the section below and I'll do my best to answer them. Thanks.